So John the Baptist sees Jesus coming towards him and he says, Look, there he is, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Those words should sound familiar to us, right? Where else do we hear them? In the communion, right? That's right. Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Now, it just wasn't, it wasn't only on that occasion that John the Baptist pointed people towards Jesus. That was the overarching purpose and mission of his whole life, was to point people to Jesus to, to, and to open their hearts to him. What about you? Who were you pointing people towards with the way that you live your life and, and, and the words that you use. When people see you, who are you pointing them towards? Who are you a witness to? That's a good question, huh? Maybe when we pray those words in Mass, you might ask yourself from time to time, ooh, who am I pointing people towards with the way that I live my life? You see, we're all called to be little John the Baptist. We're all called to be witnesses to the light. That's part of our mandate as Christians. And what could be possibly more meaningful, more impactful, not just for others that we point, you know, we're pointing to Jesus, but but also for ourselves, because in order for us to truly point people to Jesus, it means that we've got to be close to him, right? So two things I want to encourage you to do today. One is to think of one way that you already, through your life, point people to Jesus. There must be at least one way, right? So think about it. And, and when, you, when, you, when you've got something, thank God for that. Thank God for the way that he works through you in that way to, to point others to him. And the second thing I want to encourage you to do is to ask God for one way that you can be um, a little bit more of a witness to the light? What's something that you can develop in your life so you can be more generous in witnessing to him? And then when you find that, ask for the grace to do it.